Hey, what's going on? I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker with Hyper 2 Productions. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, you're about to shoot your first project um, or you're on the fence about shooting your first project for a short film, anything like that, right? Weekend Warrior, 48 hour film project, it doesn't matter. And you're, you're writing your script. You have this incredible idea that you want the world to see and you're writing your script. And my question to you, and this is a very, very valid question, especially if you have no connections in the industry, you have no one to get it to, and you don't have rich parents to finance the project. Is your script realistic, right? What does that mean, is your script realistic? So we all have pretty wild imaginations. I would love to make a Dragon Ball Z style film where they're battle battling, you know, Terminators from the future who also have Android powers and they clash. I would love to have those big explosions, lasers, time warping through space and all those wonderful graphics. But I know that the likelihood of me doing that as an indie filmmaker is slim to none. The likelihood of a big studio doing it is slim to none because they're going to have to invest that money to make that project and then they're going to need their returns and you know unless you have a cult following like a marvel or a disney it's pretty hard even now even with these films to make that money back so when i say hey is your script reasonable is it is it within reality is it something that you can get done that's something to think about when you're writing your script i would suggest hey have two versions have the version you can sell and the version you can make yourself but you, you really have to think about that when you're writing your project, right? If it doesn't matter and you're not planning on shooting it and you're just writing to write, man, be as fantastical as you want to be. Write anything and everything and have zero limits. But if you're going to write something that you want to shoot, you and your buddies want to shoot, you maybe you conjured up $10,000 and you guys want to go make the project, then you have to ask yourself, okay, is what I'm writing realistic? Is it realistic from, let's say it's just you and your friends, right? Nobody's paid, you guys are weekend warriors, and you guys are just having a good time making movies, right? Okay, fair enough. Is it still realistic? Can I get these locations? Can I get that Lamborghini cop car? Can I get this access to this airport? Can I get the access to the hospital for this other scene? Like, and then how much is that gonna cost? All of this becomes very pricey. I mean, so we're about to shoot our fifth film, Rhino King, and I have one location for one day for five hours. It's costing me $400, right? And we're weekend warriors. We, went, we make movies because we like movies and we enjoy movies. It's costing me $400, and that's not including, you know, feeding the actors and making sure they're good and stuff. Um, and, and you have to really ask yourself, is it, is it reasonable? Is it something that I can do? Uh, the, the best advice I give when it comes to those kind of projects is, you know, write your script for the things around you and to the things that you have access to. And what do I mean by that is, man, if you got an old van lying around, a camper van, your friend has a barn, right? His family has a barn. You have access to, you know, your mom's uh, mechanic garage, and then you have access to your uncle's um, office. Those are three prime locations right there. Barn, office, mechanic garage, van, camper van. Write a story with that surrounding that kind of stuff because you know you have access to it and you can pull it off for fairly cheap. Um, that, that's, that's all the advice I have when it comes to is your script reasonable. I'm Jason Park with Hyper2 Productions. Talk to you guys soon.